For those of you who, like me, still use cash at every opportunity, this video will be a surprise, and I think also a nostalgic trip down memory lane. I was born in 1974, and growing up through the 1980s, the past of our parents and grandparents lived on in one important respect in British daily life, in the small change in your pocket. As a schoolboy, I remember often having pockets full of shillings and florins, old terms I didn't really understand. Terms that had ceased having any legal meaning three years before I was born, when in 1971 Britain went decimal. The shillings and florins I'm referring to were of course coins, normally emblazoned with either a young Queen Elizabeth II or her long-dead father King George VI. And the weird part was, although coinage of a defunct system, I could still go into shops and use them to buy sweets and fizzy drinks. That's candy and sodas to our American viewers. How was this possible? Well, when the old pre-decimal system of pounds, shillings and pence was replaced by decimal currency in 1971, some of the old coins remained in circulation, but were revalued to match the newly minted decimal coins that were entering circulation. This ensured there was no shortage of coins. So it was that the venerable sixpence, which had been around forever, was revalued at two and a half new pence. The old one shilling coin was revalued at five new pence. The old and the new coins being exactly the same size. And similarly, the old two shilling coin, nicknamed a florin, was retained and revalued at ten new pence, circulating alongside the new 10p coin, again of exactly the same dimensions. As a keen student of history, even when I was young, I really liked being able to use the old pre-decimal coins to buy stuff. It was a little bit like being a time traveller in my overactive imagination. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. In Britain today, we would still be using shillings and florins alongside our modern coins, if not for the economy drive of redesigning the size of coins. The first of the old coins to be withdrawn was the venerable sixpence in 1980, nine years after decimalisation. The one shilling stopped being legal tender on the 31st of December 1990, when the new smaller 5p coin was introduced. And finally, the two shilling, or florin, was the last to go on the 30th of June 1993, replaced by the new smaller 10 pence. Or was it? Well, it's not quite the end of the story. From Britain today, an old pre-decimal coin remains legal tender. The double florin, or the four shilling piece. This coin was first introduced in 1887, the year before Jack the Ripper began his murder spree in London's East End. And it is a large coin at 36mm diameter, the same size in fact as modern British medals. And unlike modern coins, it is made of 92.5% silver, weighing 22.6 grams. 1887 was Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee, marking 50 years on the throne. But the coin's design was criticised at the time, particularly the small diadem crown on the Queen's head. The biggest problem, however, was the fact the double florin didn't have its denomination inscribed on it, that is, its value. And as it was almost exactly the same size as the five shilling crown, it soon was dubbed the barmaid's ruin, as many a barmaid took one in payment and poorly lit pubs, thinking it was the higher value crown, thereby losing them money. In 1890, therefore, the double florin was abolished, but it remained in circulation. However, when decimalisation occurred in 1971, someone forgot to demonetize the double florin. So, bizarrely, this big Victorian coin is still legal tender in 2023, the only pre-decimal coin to survive the abolition of the old system unchanged. Now, these coins are not common. I've never seen one. And you would have to obtain them from coin dealers. But there is no legal restriction on marching into your nearest shop, slapping one down on the counter, and buying something with it, if you are prepared, perhaps, to educate the shopkeeper on the coin's unique history. So, how much is the double florin valued at today? Well, if you remember, the shilling remained in service until 1990, revalued at five new pence. So the 1887 double florin today has a legal face value of 20 pence. 
The value of this old coin in the collector's marketplace is of course slightly higher, not just because of its historical interest, but also because of its silver content, and it's worth around £100. So therefore you'd have to be stark raving mad to actually use the double florin at its face value to buy anything, and any shopkeeper with any knowledge of its true value would be very happy to relieve you of it. But I like to know that a relic of the Victorian age is still legal and technically in service today. So like the old sixpences, the shillings and florins that used to fill my pockets as a schoolboy, I hope that we all, wherever we are in the world, keep using our coins and banknotes. And like the old Victorian double florin, they live on long into the future. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon, details in the description box below.